at a meeting with my soul sisters last night and uh, the topic of sensual and sexual self-love came up. Now, I understand that for men, the retaining of that ejaculate builds potency both in your life spirit and also obviously coming together in union with your partner. But part of the beauty of being a woman is that the more you orgasm, the more quickly and the more often you can. So what I wish for you today, now I, so, so I come at self-love from a couple of different aspects. There's a sensual aspect where you're touching yourself like you actually love yourself. Kind of like that phrase where people said in the past, you know, are you, would you talk to someone else the way you criticize yourself? Well, the same is true of touch. Do you touch yourself with the same love that you touch your partner with? And then sexual love in that I feel that in order to maintain good health, you need to employ all the systems of your body. And what better way than having more orgasms? I feel like, <laughs> what is the downside? <laughs> and then the combination of them two in union with your partner. So bringing all of those worlds, the, the love, the sensual love you have for yourself, the sexual love you have for yourself, bringing that bringing those pieces of your fully actualized sexual self into the bed with your partner and then letting down every gate so you are vulnerable, that creates a completely different sensation than only being focused on them. Now, I'm not saying being be a selfish lover. No, that's not what I mean at all. What I mean is when you are bringing the wholeness of your own love of yourself into the bed, with them, they are allowed to do the same. And so I would say that by fully loving yourself, you're able to more fully love each other. I think you're, be, you're able to connect on a deeper level. And then, you know, I'll also add a video about inviting God into your bed because that can also change everything completely. Um, so, and invite God into your bed by yourself. That's another thing. So now you've got the emotional, spiritual, physical, basically all the sides and the aspects of your own self actualized in a sexual nature and union with the divine. That's what I have for you today. Just think about that in your mind. And if you don't have a self-sex practice, think about how you can add it to your life. It can start just centrally touching yourself like you love yourself. And then, you know, I had a, a, a sister tell me that she's going to take herself on a date. Oh my God, I love that idea. You know, get yourself dressed up, take yourself on a date, and then see if you can seduce yourself by the end of the night. <laughs> and then obviously bringing all of these parts into the bed with your partner um, is only just going to make everything more meaningful, more rounded, more parts of you will be present, and the whole experience gets that much deeper physically and spiritually. So that is what I wanted to invite you into today. The discussion of the culmination of the sensual, the sexual, the self, bringing spirituality into that and then inviting your partner there. So I invite you to join me and um, let me know how that goes for you. And I will see you tomorrow.